Lisp is everywhere. Web, scripting, legacy system. In this video, we will detail more its most well-known applications. Lisp is a broad term that includes a whole family of languages, which share some common characteristics, like the syntax, but uh, each of which have its own features. If we talk about web development, the best choice is probably Clojure. It is a hosted language, which means that the same language runs on a variety of existing platforms and can take advantage of them. The most common are the JVM in the backend and the JavaScript interpreter on the frontend. On the Clojure site, we can see a long list of success stories. But Clojure is not limited to the web. Given its interoperability with the JVM, it can take advantage of all of its ecosystem. Nowadays, I can think about artificial intelligence, in which most of the libraries are written in Python or Java. The interoperability with the underlying platform is not the only interesting point. The Clojure community has written many DSLs that make coding really effective. ICAP can be used to write HTML using Clojure data structures. Here we can see an example in which in a vector the first element is a keyword with the name of the tag, then there is a dictionary with the attributes and the third element is the body, which could be a vector itself. Another example is only SQL, used to turn closure data structures into SQL statements. The SQL statement is represented as a dictionary. Lisp can also be used as a scripting language and embedded in other programs. In this case, the requirement is mainly to be lightweight and start fast. The most popular alternative, but not the only one, is probably Scheme. An example of software that embeds Scheme as a scripting language is GIMP with its script foo that makes GIMP automation really simple. But it is not the only one. For example, also AutoCAD embeds its own Autolisp. Scheme has also been used for a really long time as an educational language because it is simple, you can learn the syntax in no time and start building things. Structure and Interpretation of Computer Program is a well-known book about software development, and the code in the first versions was written completely in Scheme. I would say that nowadays Racket is a better choice as an educational language. In the last few years there have been a lot of work in its standard library and its IDE.Racket both in terms of user experience and documentation. Moreover, the book How to Design Program, which is an introduction to computer programming, uses Racket to teach program design and problem solving. Racket is often seated and integrated into research papers that explore language design, program analysis, and educational methodologies. What if you want a production-ready language and want to be sure that in 10 years your current code will still be running? In this case, there is no better choice than Common Lisp. You just have to choose the implementation that best fits yourself. Do you want high performance, an open source compiler and high portability? Then SBCL is a great choice. Do you prefer a proprietary system with extensive features like debugging tools, sophisticated development environment and a graphical user interface toolkit? Look at Lispworks. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel to get more content like this. You may have already used a system written in Common Lisp without being aware of it, because Common Lisp is not much about appearance, but more about getting work done. Grammarly is a notorious company that uses Common Lisp in its core system, but it is not the only one. On the official Common Lisp site, we can see a lot of companies that use this language behind the scene. The old Lisp family is famous for writing DSLs, in particular using macros. Moreover, a DSL written in Lisp is usually embedded, and so can take full advantage of the language itself. In the example we did with Clojure, we could build HTML pages or SQL statement with the Clojure language in a coherent way. We have described different applications with different Lisp. You may be wondering, does it mean that I cannot develop a web application with common Lisp? Obviously, yes, you can. And this channel is a proof about this fact. The same way you can write script in Clojure or interoperability with the JVM using Common Lisp. We have just shown some popular choices. Lisps are not just programming languages. They represent a unique approach to problem solving. The REPL is a dynamic laboratory, in which you can model the language to engage with and dissect your problem effectively. Share your experience in the comments. What interesting real-world application of Lisp have you encountered?